We saw how we can use Eloquent to get the profile that the user owns. We said that a user has one profile and we defined this relationship inside the user model. Now, a profile also belongs to a user and this is the inverse relationship. So, let's take a moment to think about this. If a user has one profile and we define it here, then a profile should belong to one user. This belongs to a relationship is the inverse and should be defined inside the profile model. So, I will open the profile model and again, the name of the function will be user. You do not have to follow this convention. However, it makes more sense to call this user. You can also call this owner. I mean, owner also makes sense here, but I will keep this user. So now all we have to say is return this belongs to a user. Like that. Okay, so let me tell you something else you will not always use the inverse relationships. So sometimes it is better to not even define them because they obviously take some space and will make your models harder to read. So in this case, we do not really need this relationship. However, I'm going to do this just to, of course, complete this Laravel course. Because to say the truth, I cannot really think of a use case where we need to find a profile by ID and find the owner of that profile. It doesn't make any sense. However, it makes sense if instead of searching for a profile by ID, we search by username. In that case, yeah, you will need this relationship. But right now, we do not have a username in the profiles table, as of course you know. So if I go to profiles, we do not have a username. And we cannot have a clear example to show the result of this relationship. Now, later, we are going to implement search by username and we will come back to this. For now, in order to show the result of this relationship, I will go to web.php and I will create a route to test this relationship. So, I will go at the end of the file, route get, it will be one to one inverse and I will keep this here, I will not create a controller for this. So, if I return a profile and I find profile with ID 1, I want to... Okay, okay, first let's just see the result of this. So, if I go to this endpoint, let me copy this, and I go back to the browser, we should see the profile. We see the about, the city, the ID, the user ID. And this is, of course, the profile data. Suppose we want to get the owner of that profile. All we have to do is to call user, which, of course, is the user function in the profile model, but we can call this as a property and we get the owner of the profile. And as you can see here, we get the owner. So, as I said, we will come back to this when we are going to implement searching and we will search by username, for example. For now, you just learned how to use the one-to-one -one relationship.